I hope you guys are ready to automate the world, because we are back with Factorio as played by an engineer, Season 2. And you will notice a few things right off the bat. This is not the world that we left off on. And as I kind of hinted in the trailer, it really is not. Um, I did go back through my original world and saw that everything was absolute crap that I did. I had set up everything kind of poorly, and when I was going through my test world, I had a multitude of things I would have rather done. But as you can see here, I have a very, very good starting point for this season. I've already got gear production, circuit production. I have belt being made, which we're actually going to end up... We're actually going to take that line and move it all the way over here for later purposes. Elaborate on that later. Um, what else do we have? I got inserters. Let me hit control. Nope, I need to hit alt. There we go. I got underground belt splitters i have medium electric poles i have big electric poles i have lights because that makes this look so much better yeah look at that so much better nice nice just gonna throw those down right there i have a small electric pole in there i'm not gonna need that i'm making assembly machine mach 2s pipe for, um, I think the episode after this, we're going to begin doing oil, so that's going to be exciting. But, um, today's episode, you know, a good way to start off the season, let's, let's do research, alright? I have, I do have research going, and as you can see down here, I haven't quite gotten rid of my temporary base, because, well, it's powering all of my research, so... I need to get around to replacing that thing. So the first thing we're going to actually need to do is for red science, that's easy. Copper, iron gear. As you can see, I'm running iron gears. I've got copper. These are going to be the only, like, these are going to be the materials that I'm primarily going to be bussing. I'm not going to do stone because the only thing I really use stone for is steel furnaces, which I'm doing down here. So we've got green circuits, iron... Iron gears, there we go. Steel, copper, and iron. So we're going to be running these. These are going to be the five things that we're going to be running. So let's quick do up red science. So now kind of one of the things I, I noticed in my playthroughs, or not my playthrough, in my, my test world, excuse me, is that by keeping this area... Oh, by keeping these like first four, you know, one, two, three, four, relatively clear, first four spaces right here, relatively clear of, of, you know, stuff, I can easily transport belt and stuff down. Or belt stuff over that I don't want to transport down the bus. A lot easier. So I am really trying to at least set up um, assembly machines like at least four off. I may actually, when I get robots, move everything up a little further. But for the time being, this four off rule, that is going to be very handy in case you have, like me, misplanned slightly when setting up and need to, like, bust something a little further down for more production. I'll explain that later. So let's do four off these. Uh, so we're going to do... We're going to need copper. So we're going to do copper right here. We're going to do iron gears right here. Merge the two in the middle. That'll look really nice. Tap the bus right there. Tree. <laughs> then I'm going to do splitter. Sorry for jumping into this, like, right away. Not, you know, relishing the fact that we're back. But we got stuff to do, and I'm already four minutes in. I can't afford to relish. Then I need the iron gears. Oh, there is, an, there is an oil spout right there that I'm not actually going to be using. Uh, actually, I might be hitting it right there. I may tap out of this. What, how much yield? 42% yield? That's kind of bad. There we go. That looks good. I don't know why I just brought up steel. Other than the fact that I can. Sorry if I, like, don't talk for periods of time here. This this game really requires me to be thinking. Not necessarily thinking very hard, but, you know, 
thinking nonetheless. So if my commentary is kind of bad on this, just be, be known that it's because I am genuinely trying to think here. But the lessons will come nonetheless on how to do this. God, I'm really happy that I'm actually getting this release off a little bit earlier than expected. If you guys recall from last season, I said August. Ha! It's going to be July. Now what? Okay, so we're going to do, well, let's see here, one, two, three, four. So that's going to be right about there. I'm going to do at least four for right now. I can always... And if you guys don't know what I'm hitting, I'm hitting control. What am I? Oh, crap. So I hit control. And then... Here. What do I even hit to, like, copy and paste this over? So I hit right-click. Oh yeah, you right click on what you want to copy, and then you left click, well, this is while holding shift. If you shift, left click, and then right click, you just kind of paste in what your option was. Set up my electrical poles. Wait, did I mess up already? Ugh. That's how this season of Factorio played by an engineer is gonna go. I need something with off. Why didn't one of you speak up? Seriously. Just because I've built this world doesn't mean that I'm completely with it today. It's a Sunday afternoon at like 1.50, and I it's Sunday afternoon, 1.50, and I just finished eating a really big meal. Oh, nope, that's right. That's right. And I want power between the two. Okay, I'm gonna do... Oh cool, some more research finished. Uh, research that for the time being. I am gonna need to automate inserters here, which is my next thing that I'm gonna do. You to input, you to input, you to input. Very nice. And I want... There we go. That do its thing. Oh, it's getting dark over here. Ah, that looks that looks nice. That's nice. So I'm gonna bring that up. Just allow that to get some belt storage here. Oh, by the way, we're running a different version of Factory. I think we're up to like one point or zero point one five instead of zero point one four where we left off. So a lot of my mods aren't working. So I had like all these mods planned out that I was gonna sh use to help make life much easier for us. And well, yeah, Factorio was like, lol, nope, bro, not today. So um, this may be some of portions of this I had planned out may seem a little half-assed and I do apologize, but that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbled in this case. So then let's automate inserters and all inserters are going to require some form of electronic circuit iron or steel all right so this little machine i developed while i was doing um my test run and i'm actually extremely proud of this it's not really so much a machine but how i did this uh, conglomeration of like inserters inserter production and i think it's super cool i'm going to try and closely duplicate it as i can that i did in my test world And then this will get us, so then, yeah, then, let's see here, that will give me the ability to do green science. Now, I haven't done oil yet, so blue science will definitely need to be in an episode or two, but, yes, we will do blue science, and even purple science, if I can figure that out. I need to find a mod for purple science, because my purple science mod got disabled. What, how it used to be is I would have to use up science packs. Just like an obscene amount of science packs to make purple science. Because I'm not doing aliens, so I can do these, like, large factories. Alright, so then let's do... So I want to belt over. Do I need copper in any form or the other? Nope, it just looks like... Electronic circuits. Iron. Yep, 
So we're gonna do what are they gonna use most? One, 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 two. So we're gonna bus over. Iron and electronic circuits will be the close one. Which I think I can move this just a little closer, maybe right about there. Yeah, that'll be good. So here's the iron. I want to do the electronic circuits and the copper. No, wait, let's see here. Electronic circuits and iron. And then iron gears, I'm going to bust right here. Let's bring those all down. Nope, nope, failed. There we go. So let's do iron gears. Iron gears I'll take right off of here. Nice, that's looking good. Then I want to do the electronic circuits as such. So I guess while I'm doing this, the reason I do want to say why I did like start a new factory instead of uh, or why I start with a pre-builded factory instead of like starting a whole new world is because, you know, I left off at a certain place with season one and I really wanted to get to that point so that you guys would, you know, be learning some stuff about this game because it is a, it is not, if you have the mindset for it, this is not a very difficult game to master. And because, you know, prior engineering-ish experience, you know, with um, control systems and stuff, I kind of have that mindset for this. But you know, it's always nice to see somebody else fail at doing this game. So then I want to do several inserters. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Yes, I want to do these two. Are going to be. Let's see, this is going to take about five seconds. This is going to take five seconds. This is going to also take about five seconds. So I for sure want three of you. I'm going to have two of you making inserters. I'm going to have you doing the... No, no, no. I want you to be doing the long-hand inserters. Very nice. Okay, so then I'm going to bring up... And I want to get you guys exporting like such. There we go, that's looking fine. And I want to do this. And since longhand inserters, I'll kind of use sparingly, I only have one machine dedicated to that. So there, this is my, my machine that I'm actually a little too proud of. Look at that. And it uses up a lot of resources to keep this bad boy going, but you know, that's okay. I'm producing a lot. Ooh, now I can actually just, ah, uh, no longer need you guys. Sorry, you're useless to me. You're dead to me. Up at the queue there. Alright, so then I want to do box you, box you, box some of you. 
I'm only gonna box like maybe two stacks of you. Box at least four stacks of you. There we go. And then I shall only need like two stacks of you. Iron production keeping up, I sure hope so. Tapping into the other lanes to keep me supplied there. Iron, I want to do the same thing. I want to be tapping into these other lanes of storage. Now, the reason why I do this here, like this four lane here, because one, it makes sense, because, you know, you can make underground belt six away, four are actually underground. But this right here, this allows me to tap into storage if need be, and it also helps rebalance lanes. It serves a dual purpose. So now to do green science, I'm going to need an in a transport belt and an inserter. And this is why I've been trying to keep um, assembly machines at least four off, so I can do stupid stuff like this if I accidentally misplan something minorly. Let's do this. Nope, that's not going to work. Drop you down one, and then transport you down. Now I know it's not pretty, but it's functional. Right here is where it's going to be a problem. It's a minor problem, though. That didn't exactly solve my problems. One, two, three, four. That's what I like about this game. With just a little bit of um, thought, you can easily get around just about any problem. Whether it be, you know, just diverting something slightly. Did run out of underground belt. No, I'm, no, I'm good. There we go. And I can jettison this up slightly. Now I know this is a really long run, and I will probably end up fixing this later. But for the time being, it's nice and functional. So then let's do green science. So I want to divert. I want to divert a few. Inserters. Nope, 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 nope. Stab, stab. Just, just stab. Oi. Okay, I, I keep wanting to do, try and do something fancy. You know what? It's gonna be the name of this season. Functional. I want to get the thing working first, then we can do fancy. And look at that. So then let's do, well, let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This one right here. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Very nice. So while I'm contemplating my existence, let's do, where's the labs? That should be an adequate amount. And then 
something just to kind of use up a little bit of wasted space. building and that's fine that'll be good let's wire up all of the power that we're going to need and and labs look at that Labdor laboratories at last I can begin doing, and I'm actually probably going to need a few more green science here. And these produce at a rate of about, let's see here, six seconds, five seconds. So if we do, let's see here, so five times, let's see, in the span of 30 seconds, these would have produced six, these would have produced five. Let's do six. We'd need five of these. We need five of these and we need six of these because I want to do one a second. Yes. Nope. Oh, crap. Uh, actually, yes. I'm going to need electric engines pretty soon here. Oh, that's cool. Just the tutorials. Trains. I'm going to I'm gonna have to look into that one. That, that's cool. I didn't know that uh, tutorials popped up. Because honestly, I haven't tried trains yet, but I'm going to try them this season. And there, our new research facility is all completed and not a moment too soon because I'm already on 22 minutes. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Now I can... Pretty sure I can disassemble the last of my of my uh, temporary factory down there. Is green science keeping up. Actually, yeah, that one lane isn't. So let's do let's do a rebalancing here. So we can be tapping from all lanes. That looks better. Pretty soon, these should all be full if they aren't already. Oh, they are, so that means we should stop using up green science here pretty soon. Make one, oh, make one quick little fix there. And I'll just kind of show you what all I've created here and kind of what the plan is. <clears throat> Here's where I'm bringing down iron. I am bringing down just like a little bit of stone from a subsection right about here. I have left room so that I can expand the smelting facility as need be. Oil is going to end up getting put right around, is going to get end up getting put in around this vicinity or maybe up here next to my, do I have my cursor on? I hope I have my cursor on. Um, I do have a mine extra ore, iron ore here that I'm going to be implementing into the system in probably in off camera. This is my coal and slash stone, I guess. I actually have a little sorting system up here that's turning it into um, landfill. It looks like that's not oh, good. Most of this looks like it's pretty well drained. Yeah, pretty well drained. That's mining away. That's all looking good. I cut off the coal. I did cut off the coal, so that'll be a little less. This is all coal too. Now what sucks is I have coal here, coal here, copper, copper, stone. There is uranium because this is a new mod pack. Uranium. The nearest iron deposit is up here that I haven't topped yet. And even then, that's not that much. That's not very much iron ore. 
I've got a larger one up here with 1.6, so I might have to do a train station up over here. But, yeah, I'm lo really looking forward to this season of Factorio Engineer. You know, with the tagline, Automate the World. I just thought that was so cool when I thought of it. Actually, it's on the back of our, um, one of the, a t-shirt that I have, so I didn't come up with it per se, but still awesome. Applies really well, I feel like, to this. So those are all finished. Good, good, good. But, uh, yes, that is all the time I have for today. Thank you all for watching the season premiere of this brand new series of Factorio. Um, I will go over a few changes here, or one really quick change. New boilers, so each boiler can now support up to two steam engines, so I have 20 steam engines right here being supported off 10 boilers. I will add in more here. But, um, anyways, thank you all for your support in the new, se in the new series. Um, I'm really looking forward to this series. I'm going to try and make it a little bit longer than 10 episodes. Hopefully I have enough content to cover. I'll probably end it about the time I get robots. And then if I believe I have enough content for a series, th or a third season, I'll do another season. Or I might just start doing one-off episodes of Factorio because Factorio is just is turning into one of my favorite games. Difficulties keeping up? Nah, it's fine. But until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Thank <laughs> you.